Hi friends, I am Vinod Chandran. Today we are going to discuss propulse process capability study by transforming a non-normal data to a normal data. So here you can see a data of a report uploading time where the customer requirement is to upload the data to their portal every two hours. The maximum allowed time is 90 minutes and we need to see the process capability of this particular process. So we'll take this data to a, a mini tab. Now we need to study the process capability of this particular data. So first what I'm, I'll do is, is do a normality study, normality test. So for doing that, what I'll do is that I'll go to stat, basic statistics and a normality test. And I am going to do the normality test of this particular data. And when I'm pressing it, I'm getting the P value as below 0 0.005. That means the data is not normal. If the data is, if the data is normal means the P value should be more than 0 0.05 right so we have seen that this data is not normal now what i am planning to do next is that i am just going to uh, see whether this data fits to any distribution any distribution right so any non-normal distribution fits to any non-normal distribution, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'll just go to stat and quality tools and uh, individual distribution identification. So I am putting collect selecting this data report upload time, and I'm putting subgroup size as one. And I am going to study all the distribution and its transformations, right? So let us see uh, what is the result. I'm just saying, okay. Now I'm getting different distributions and its corresponding p-value. Now we can see that logistics, non, uh, log logistics, all the p-value is less than 0 0.05, all right? And the largest extreme value, gamma, three parameter gamma, smallest extreme value. If you see all the distribution here is below 0 0.05. That means that this is not fitting to any of the distribution. Okay, so what I'm planning is that I'm just going to see that whether it is going to fit either box cox or Johnson transformation. So what I'm planning is that I'm just going to see that whether can we transform the data to box cox transformation whether can we transform this data using box cox transformation right for that doing that i'm just going to start control chart box cost transformation and again report of loading time this is the data i want and i'm going putting as subgroup size as one and uh, i'm going to see that uh, observation i wanted to put this transformed data to a new column so i'm going to put a c3 i want to put data into c3 column so I'm saying okay and okay, and I'm receiving, I'm getting some transformed data here. So I'm going to tell it as box cox transformed. Now this got transformed, right? Now it is transformed, right? Now what I need to do is that I have to see that whether this data is normal or not. So for that, I'm going to start basic statistics 
and a normality test. And I'm going to see that whether the data after transformation, whether it has become normal or not, right? I'm going to say, okay, now you can see here, again, the data is below 0 0.05. That means the data is, the data is not normal even after, even after box Cox transformation, Cox transformation, right? Now what is left out? We need to try Johnson transformation. I'm going to try Johnson transformation, right? So for that, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say stat quality tools and Johnson transformation. And here is my data, right? And I have got an option, a uh, single column, right? Uh, the data I need to transform to, let, let us say C5, I want to transform. And I got an option that uh, whether my p-value to be set, uh, set uh, for 0 0.01, 0 0.1. I'm going to change it to 0 0.05, right? So that is the normal alpha risk we are taking. So I am going to change it as 0 0.05 and I'm going to say, okay, and okay. Now you can see here, there's a uh, screen of the transformed details. You can see here, uh, the p-value is 0 0.073, which means that the, our data is now become normal. Okay, so the data has become normal. So I will we'll just check that Johnson transformer data, J transformed. I'm just telling it as J transformed. Nothing but Johnson transformer data, right? So I'll just see stat, basic statistics and a normality test for Johnson transformer data. Let us see what is the result. See here, you can see the same result. P value is 0 0.073, right? So the data got transformed. Now with this data, so it is, it has been proved that we can convert this data to normal by using Johnson's transformation, Johnson transformation, right? Johnson transformation, right? Okay, now what I'll do, I'll do the capability analysis directly by transforming this data to Johnson transformation and I'll check what is the CPK or PPK value, right? Okay, so stat, quality tools, uh, capability analysis. Now I, I want to do the capability analysis. Now, uh, since the data is not normal, I want to transform this data. So I'm Going to select the same data and subgroup size i'm going to say as one and my maximum time is 90 minutes okay i don't have any lower spec here it is a one-sided tolerance already we have seen that the maximum allowed time is 90 minutes now since it is not normal data i need a transformation so i'm going to transform it to johnson transformation because that is only fitting or that is the only way to transform this data so I'm transforming as per Johnson transformation. I'm saying, okay, and I'm saying, okay. Now you can see that the with the transformed data, we got a PPK value is 0.47. And with this value, the black belt can think of going for further improvement so that they can reach two sigma level or 1.5, 1.67 sigma level, whatever may be the, goal of the organization. Yes, so with that, uh, I wanted to conclude my session. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share it to the useful people. Thank you very much.